I do have very strong ideas of sound and how we could get a good depth of sound and vivid response to the music. Uh, but all of this comes very much from the source of the music itself. You know, there's two kinds of musicians. There's those who are led by the analytical brain and those who are led by the stomach. And I'm very much on the stomach side. And so I have to make sure that I do really do some good brain work, especially, well, working with any sort of music. But uh, most of the information that I get comes from my musical gift rather than from learning out of books. You know, there's a difference between what you learn and what you know. And you know some things by some sort of deep communication with the music. Then, of course, you have to check them, process them, try to work out how to respond to them, whether it's appropriate. I like to try to keep a sort of telephone line to my composers. And so if I want to do something out of the ordinary, I'll try to make a telephone call to Handel, or even to Bach these days, or Bach is more frightening than anybody else. Um, try to make a telephone call. And the purpose of this telephone call really is to examine my own musical conscience but it's more fun to do it in the form of a telephone call with the composer. Mm -hmm.